Hey, what's going on, Shrimp Keepers? It is Saturday, which means it's Shrimp Saturday, and uh, I'm currently on my bachelor party. I'm um, taking a break from the guys that are all downstairs. Uh, there's what there are eight, there's eight of us, including myself, and uh, we just had a blast last night. You know, I, I probably drank more than I should have. Um, I regretted it in the morning, but I'm feeling better now. It's like it's probably about seven o'clock right now, and uh, it, was, it was a really good time. And uh, we're just gonna hang out, chill out tonight, and. You know, not get too crazy. We we downloaded some Sega, some of the old Sega and Nintendo games, and we're playing those, just being extra nerdy. But you know, we're having a great time. And so anyway, I did want to bring you guys a Shrimp Saturday video. I apologize that it's not like of actual shrimp, but it's something that I believe is golden, and that it's uh it's one of my key rules um, as far as being a successful shrimp keeper. And so there's two things that I rely on. Um, that I think that you have to have if you're going to be in this hobby and uh, and it's patience is number one uh, You have to have patience and the number two is consistency and what I mean by those is uh, patience patience is like a Lot of times you'll get shrimp uh, at least I used to do this. I would order shrimp um, I'd rush to acclimate them and so you know I want to get them in the tank I want to see what they look like so I, I stress them out um, you know, you might lose some, you might not. And then uh, as soon as you see a death, maybe it's a day or two later, maybe it's a week later, uh, you instantly start panicking. You're like, oh my gosh, like what's going wrong? Like, you know, I need to change this, I need to do that. And honestly, the way shrimp work is um, the first month that you have them is always the, the red zone. And so you'll end up losing the majority of the weak shrimp within that first month because that's like, you know, they're molting, they're going through all their different stages. If they make it a month, then you know that they're going to be all right, uh, at least most of the time. And so when I talk about patience, uh, do not rush to acclimate them. Um, you know, drip acclimate them over the course of as long as you can. Like I drip acclimate mine for 24 hours and do not start changing things up when you see deaths in the first month. I mean, if, if all of them are dying, then yeah, there's something seriously wrong. But if you're losing one shrimp here or there, um, you know, that just happens, especially when you're getting imported shrimp or, or shrimp that have, you know, come from a pet store. They're, they're readjusting to different waters. And so be patient. Um, if something, like, you just got to, you got to give it time to unfold. And so patience is number one for that reason. And consistency is huge. And so it's hard for, it's hard for, like, me when someone sends me an email. They're like, hey, I got, you know, this is going on in my tank. And I'm just like well, what are you doing? And they're like, well, I was doing this. Now I'm switching it up. And so whenever there is a problem in a shrimp tank, we always try to change a thousand different things. And when you change a thousand different things, you, you're honestly probably just going to kill the shrimp quicker because they have to readjust to those different things. And so be consistent in what you do. If you're going to change something, change it, like change one thing at a time. And if you're going to change it, you have to stick with it. So do it for a week, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks as long as you can unless you start seeing a, a huge impact and so consistency is just like choosing a course of action and just going after it like you know um you know i'll set up a tank with you know 20 shrimp and i'll see a couple dead and i i don't change a thing i wait two months in, in two months if if half the shrimp died then okay it's not working so i need to go through i need to readjust uh, see what I think the problem is adjust just that one problem that I think is happening and do that for a month and then just kind of just be you know consistent and patient because I've had tanks that like like my Aurora blue tank I'll have to show that in an upcoming video but I was having so many problems with it um, you know I spent Aurora blue tires are expensive I probably spent 400 bucks on this tank um, they had babies one time and then all the adults died I'm like okay well at least I have babies and then of the babies, um, only three survived. And so I'm like, shoot. And so those three, like, you know, I just left their tank alone. I knew everything that I was doing was right. And, uh, and so I just kind of just let it take its course. I stopped feeding them as much. You know, I went down to really small amounts because it's only three shrimp. And now there's probably uh, close to 100 shrimp in there. So I ended up with two females and one male, and it just all worked out. And so that's just an example of what consistency can do and patience. Um, a lot of people would break down the tank and reset it, and that would have just killed them off. So um, when you're in this shrimp hobby, if you want to be successful, you have to be patient, and you have to have consistency. And so that's just my little word of advice, and I think it's a good way to start uh, Shrimp Saturday, um, you know, just because that's how, that's how I 
do shrimp keeping. If it wasn't for patience and it wasn't for consistency, I wouldn't be where I am because there's a lot of ups and there's a lot of downs. And uh, you, I know you guys have experienced it. And if you haven't, you probably will. I don't want to be a Debbie Downer, but you probably will. And so, um, so that's just my little bit of information on this Saturday. I hope you guys are having a great weekend. Um, you know, I'm having a good time. I'm glad that I got to talk to you guys while I'm actually on my bachelor party. And so it's kind of cool. I would show you what everyone's got going on. Well, you know what? Let me do it anyway. Here. Whoa. Oops. Let me see how to flip this thing around. I'm going to show you all the guys. They've probably uh, got their shirts off looking all grody. Hold on. <laughs> hey, you guys having fun? <laughs> hey, you guys are on YouTube right now. Yeah, I swear to God. Yeah, they don't even get it. Hey, everybody just say hi to everybody real quick. Hey. All right, all right. All right, guys. Well, hey, you guys make it a good Saturday, and I will catch you guys soon. Later.